Hi guys, TC here. Welcome back to another edition of Horse Racing Preview. <laughs> guys, this week's feature of course comes to us. Not from Belmont, but from Saratoga. So that can only mean one thing. <laughs> yup, it's time for the Belmont Stakes. <laughs> guys, weird. <laughs> this is race 12 from Saratoga. <laughs> It's set this year for a mile and a quarter on the main track, and of course, it's restricted to three year olds. And it is carrying a big old purse of two million dollars. So let's get started right away. And you guys, huh? Well, there's no getting past our chalkity chalk. <laughs> I got to hear Leon on top, you guys. I mean, just look at each and every start. All right, I mean, I'm telling you, this horse, saying that this horse can close like a banshee is putting it mildly. I mean, he is consistently taking every field down, and he comes back from an average of 10 or 12 down to pick up victories. And, and if not victories, he's, he's just barely missing. I mean, by by a microscopic margin, all right? <laughs> and I mean, the job change from Tyler Gaffleone to Flavian and Pratt, you know, it doesn't concern me. I mean, he's still gotten a couple of different jobs before and still gotten in the mud. So, I mean, really, the only one that could stop Sierra Leone is Sierra himself. <laughs> so Sierra Leone on top on the, in the Belma on Saturday moving right along I am liking to seize the gray to finish second now I mean you guys the previous upset special <laughs> this horse was on fire three weeks ago alright I mean he took him of course you guys remember he took him gay to wire for a big old Vic and of course the time before that he stalked him home from for another victory, you know. He hung out a second and third before it was time to move. And then he snuck up on him and, and, and won. <laughs> I mean, he certainly can get three in a row, guys. Don't count him out. He certainly can get three in a row if he's able to catch Sierra Leone sleeping. <laughs> but, I mean, also returning job, Jaime Torres is up again. And she likes look. Here's a sneak of peek for you. Jaime is responsible for, I think, all but one of Steve's of Grace victories. So if you want to consider that, think about that, that's another reason to consider that Steve's of Grey might be on top again. <laughs> but, you know me, I got Steve's of Grey finishing second. You know, when I got your, your top three, I'm like, you mind frame. Now, sorry guys, <laughs> mind frame. This lightly raced horse with zero six experience, um, but just check out check out those two starts. I mean, why are these fields blew them away at the end by seven and thirteen lengths respectively? I mean, so quite naturally he's gonna go to the lead. Hmm. I mean, but the only thing I've got with him is I'm expecting the horses with with more experience, uh, of course, some stakes experience to, you know, um, take charge <laughs> and potentially pass this front runner up. All right. However, I still, you know, on the flip side of that, I feel like he's going to you know, have the staying power just based on his two starts and based on the fact that he's blew him out by 7 or 13 minutes. I feel like he's going to have the staying power to, to hang around and finish at least third. I mean, you guys have got I read Ortiz up, and we all know I read Ortiz is like a super jock. <laughs> all right, so watch your mind frame. Watch him to finish at least third for you on Saturday. Now, and that can only mean one thing. Let's bring us to our JFC upset special, huh? Protect him, guys. I've said it before. I will say it again. If you like what you see, and I know you do, please click subscribe. Cry, please ring my bell so you never ever miss a video. And guys, pass my video down the street to somebody else who's gonna like and click and ring so they never miss a video. Super nose keeps it. And you guys, Facebook and Instagram, 
Facebook.com slash JC's Horse Racing Preview. We'll catch you next week. Bye.